In this sum, we have given front view and top view, and we need to draw left hand side view. Now, first we will relate the object that is, first circular object is a If you see from top, it is a rectangle. So, inside view, it will be a rectangle. So, what we will do, we will project this first part from here. In top view, we will project from here. So, it will be Somewhere like this. So this first portion will be that. This is an rectangle. And there's a circle inside it. So it will be dotted. So we got our first part. After that, if you see, this is slope, which is a rectangle in top view. So when you project from here, and you project from here. So you get rectangle like this and it will be till here, right? So we need to show tangent over here and this part over there. So it will be like this and the upper part will be down. Now after that, we will see this circle which is through and through and there is one more circle inside it which has a dotted line, which is also going through and through. So what we need to do? We need to draw rectangle for this circle. And this circle will have a dotted line, right? We have a dotted line for this circle. So it will be through and through dotted line. Now after this, if you see, there is a slot in this circle, see this, so what we need to do, we need to draw that slot also, it will be through and through. See this slot which is through and through. And after that, this circular blade, right? See this circle was third. Then this circular part, which is circle in one view, rectangle. So in this also we'll have a rectangle. When you project from here, it will be dotted because we won't be able to see this. So it will be dotted and you draw. Be uh, in between slot. Same here also. It will be only in this. It won't be in that slot. This I am talking about. This there is no line over here. So over here also there won't be any line. And last dotted line inside this, inside this circle. So that will be So we are done with side view I will just brief once again First part, circle, rectangle, rectangle Second part, slope, rectangle, rectangle Third part, circle, dotted line so we have a rectangle with dotted line and plus one more slot so two more dotted line, extra dotted line and then we have a circle, a rectangle so we'll have a rectangle, again we have a circle where we have dotted line, so in that also we'll have a dotted line now after this we will do sectional front view as well as sectional top view now first we will draw sectional front view along BB so if you see it is cutting it like this so over here it is not cutting anything so this portion will be as it is only this thing will become dark. So this dotted line will become dark because they can see this. There won't be any hatching over here. Over here also there won't be any hatching. This is getting cut. So this will be dark. This will be hatched. 
the circle will get hatched. This thread won't be getting hatched by because we are cutting along the length, we remove major portion area. So we have there won't be any hatching. So we are done with sectional front view. Now when we see sectional top view, cutting plane line is passing through this. So what will happen? This will become dark because it is passing through this. This will become dark. This will go away. This will go away. It will become one object. This will become dark. Sorry. This will go away. It is cutting it over here. So we need to project from here. This dotted line will go away. This will become dark from here. So I think we come in this area. This area will be dark. See this. This lower part will remain as it is. We'll remove the dotted line. And see this, we are cutting a rib. Over here we got hatching and rib by because we are cutting it perpendicular along the length. Always remember whenever you remove minimum portion area from the rib we hatch that portion. So, in this case, we will get the hatching. This entire circular part, as well as this part will get exposed. Why? Right? Because now we can see this part. So, it will be done. 